Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, and today we got another tank for you. This one's coming from Henlong, new to our website. And one of the newer ones they got, this is the Panzer III. Now they've had it in the gray scheme, but now they got it in the desert scheme. This is the H-Type. This would have been used in North Africa campaigns, obviously, the Panzer III. Super popular um, lot produced during uh, World War II, used in every campaign, I believe. Uh, in World War II, but we've got it here in a desert scheme, which is kind of cool. So now taking you back a little bit to uh, the purpose of this video, this is an unboxing overview and everything. So you can see here, uh, back when I unboxed it in the studio, um, it comes packaged beautifully. Remember, these RC tanks, all of them are 16th scale and they are ready to run. So ready to run means it's coming with everything. As you see me pull all the stuff out of the box here, you're getting a battery, you're getting a charger, you're getting the transmitter, you're getting um, smoke oil because each one of these tanks feature smoke, which is really cool. You get, you're getting a set of pellets because they also fire like airsoft type BBs out of the cannon, which is also cool as well. So they give you a bunch of those. Um, then looking at all the accessory bits they give you, uh, you see it all laid out here in front. Um, for this tank, there aren't too many, but there are a lot of little plastic pieces that you're just gonna have to use the manual for and uh, you know put them all together. I love the detail it comes with because when you do pull it out of the box, most of it is already finish the paint job this one doesn't even have any hubcaps a lot of times you have to put those on all the uh, road wheels and everything but uh, this one came out of the box with those it was just all the minor details all around the tops and the sides to get it going the machine guns things of that nature and all around it's really cool now as far as putting it getting it set up you want to get that battery on charge right away probably takes about an hour or so to charge it fully based on the charger they give you if you have a better charger you could charge it up uh, faster but putting it in the tank you go right on the bottom of the tank there's gonna be a screw you open that hatch and you'll see your battery will fit right in there perfectly so you close it up and then when it's ready to go all you have to do is put in six AA batteries in your transmitter, turn it on, and then this tank has the on and off button on the back. So we're gonna turn that on to the on position, and you will see, maybe you can't see it out here, but your headlights will start flashing, and that means that you know the tank has power, but you'll notice nothing happens until you push this unlock button. There's a little unlock button on the transmitter. Uh, you push this, and then it's gonna power up your tank. Now, this tank, like many, let me lower the volume a second because you could do that with the transmitter by hitting the volume button and then down on the sticks. So I'm bringing the volume down so you hear me. But each one of these tanks now is on the new TK7 uh, inner board. So Henlong over the years had TK1 all the way through many iterations. When we first received them, they were TK6.3. But now it's the all new improved TK7 boards, which uh, for you, the viewer, just means everything's a lot better as far as the transmitter functionality, the sound of these tanks, um, that board really does a lot, especially with the uh, movement of the tank, because the beauty of these things, when you run them, you can drive them as scale or as unscale as you like. They'll, they'll drive a lot faster than they would have gone normally, but you could set up your transmitter using the manual and everything um, to really dial it in. So when you go full throttle on your sticks, the tank is only doing what you know scale speeds uh, the tank would normally do in real life. But all around, it's a beautiful addition to the Henlong lineup, so I'm gonna take it for a little spin around here for a bit. We'll show you firing some BBs, we'll hit the target that they give you, and, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. But all around, she's looking good so far. Let's drive it. All right, so let's, uh, let's get her started up. So I'm gonna arm her again. I got the volume turned up loud because now we're gonna drive around. I just wanna show you first the functionality. So your right stick is gonna be your driving stick. So that's gonna do all the movement of the tank as far as yaw. If you move left, full left or full right, the tank will yaw. Now that's me out of the box just pushing the stick as far as it can go. And you see, it'll, it could do, it could boogie pretty quickly in that. If you push the sticks to the top or forward, you'll move the tank forward or back. And then when you make diagonal movements, you could turn it how you wish. Now the left stick is gonna do your turret and your barrel. So the turret functions, it's not full 360, like it'll hit a point where it'll stop, but it'll go, it'll traverse completely the other way. So almost 360, but not a full, which is fine. And then up and down on your left stick is gonna move the barrel. So if I turn the tank this way, you'll see the barrel go up 
and it goes down, which is really cool because it'll change the trajectory of, um, you know, the little airsoft pellets that come with the gun um, when you're trying to fire. So it's awesome, and they all function together. Now, what's great about that TK7 board is, um, proportional control has gotten better and better and better and now it's at its best so if you take your either stick and you just move it ever so slightly you could get the tank to crawl at scale speeds do scale movements so same with the turret you could have the turret move very slowly while you know while the tank moves with proportional steering and now you'll also see out of the box it comes with a manual for the controller there are so many settings you could change within where you could make it so when you go full on the sticks it only ever does the slowest movement so that's all stuff you'll have to figure out in the book um, but it's all really explained well in there and uh, it works well but again on the transmitter you've got a bunch of sounds so you got the um, What's it called? You got different volume control. So like I can bring the volume all the way down. I can bring the volume all the way up. I can control the smoke. So if I turn the smoker on, the tanks have a smoker. So now I hear the smoker going. So after a couple seconds, the smoke will start coming out the back. It might be hard to see on a day like today, but if you're inside, um, you see the smoke unit really works well now, and it's, it's an improved unit um, from the older ones. It's less likely to get clogged the way the old ones do. It's more of a vaporizer than just a, uh, a sort of plunger the way the old smoke units work. But you can see if I press the smoke button now, it'll shut right off, which is great. And then if I turn it right back on, that smoke flows almost immediately upon turning it on. So it just adds an extra element. So again, not only does the Panzer III fire the BBs, as you can see, and with some force, you don't want to get hit by it, definitely at close range, but it also does IR capability. So it comes with this cool IR sensor. Every tank has one of these, every Henlong, and uh, you'll see a little plug in the top of the hatch uh, where you plug it in, and it has a magnet on the bottom, so it sticks to the top, and then that's how it interacts with other tanks. So you can see putting two tanks close to each other, um, when they fire at each other, uh, you see one tank will shake when it gets hit. If a tank gets hit five times, it automatically just shuts down, you know, shuts off to the point where the other user just has to unlock it and start it up again. But really cool all around how it works and a lot of fun to use. Now, as far as shooting goes, you push the two top buttons and you're gonna see the tank recoil. This one doesn't have barrel recoil, some tanks do, but this one doesn't. But you can see the tank recoil in there, and if there was projectiles loaded, they would fire out. You also have machine gun sounds. There is a light in the front on the machine gun that flickers red when you fire the gun, which just adds to uh, everything about it. And overall, the tank is just super fun. So let's traverse it around and just play. So there you have it guys, that's us driving around, having some fun with the Panzer III from Henlong, available now at the link in the description of this video. Really, um, again, remember you get two options of this. You have the upgraded version, which is gonna have all plastic road wheels and tires and treads, or there is a professional version. So same top, everything's gonna look the same here, but you're gonna have all die cast uh, metal road wheels, metal treads and everything, um, which is better for bashing. It's gonna be a heavier tank, but um, you know, be better for bashing, and then you could always paint those and make it look like the upgraded version which I'm holding. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Uh, and if not, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next Motion RC video.